Hey YouTube world, this is your girl Yana of Yana's Eyes. It's been a minute when it comes to makeup. We, I've been really trying to push forward with real estate. But anyway, today's video is actually a wig review. If you're interested in seeing this unit, keep watching. They come for your dreams, come for your work. They make you mean, they make you work. They take your work, they take your work, your self esteem. They make you hurt, they make you hurt, they make it seem like it ain't worth it, but it's always worth it. Okay, so I know that some of you are probably thinking, how is she going to do a wig review with her hair done? Well, two ways. The first one is the wig cap actually smashes this down pretty good in order for me to put a wig on it and it's not going to look like puffy because well it might but that's going to work in favor of this unit this unit is a cur wait why am i telling you let's just see it all right i left it in the packaging which was hard for me to leave in the packaging i was not feeling well so I did not want to just, you know, rip it open because normally whenever I get wigs to review from Amazon vendors, they just come in the yellow manila envelope. They're not in a, maybe a plastic bag. They're never beautifully packaged like this. And so I resisted temptation of opening it and I left it in the um, actual packaging. It says, best design gives you the best on the back. And it just has like a, maybe a picture, just like a picture of a woman in a dress. Those are her legs, her hair. And then this clear part is basically her um, dress. So you, you definitely, you could just, so it just has like a, a seal here to pop open. Okay. Loving the color already. Some things on the inside. So the hair combs. Uh-oh. <laughs> the hair combs are not attached. Or maybe those are just extras. It comes with a two new caps, two new caps, but I like my black. It comes with two new caps. It's a wig cap in here, but there's two of them. I prefer my black caps, and I have so many of them from going to the beauty supply store that um, I always have one, but that's how it came. And then they sent a pair of lashes. Amazon, check them out, AISI hair, Amazon vendor, cute card. They have been in business since 2008. So they passed the 10 year mark. They must be doing something good. These curls are very very small so I am definitely going to have to work some magic with it the best thing I can say for now is the color is on 10 color on 10 color on 10 all right on the inside it just has the um, adjustable strap so you can adjust the size and if you want it to you not me because I don't you can also add the combs to the wig as well because there are not any combs in here at all it just has you know where where you would make sure behind your ear or in front of your ear and the tag is placed in the back so 
I'm going to do some hair and makeup. All right. Whew. Wish me luck. Because if you've seen my wig reviews from before, you know that if it's not a plop and go, as they call it, I have some difficulties. It's very short. It's a short, short, curly wig. And right now, I'm just in love with the color. But I'm gonna get into a zone, and the rest of this is gonna be voiceover because I need my zone. Zone, zone, zone. All right, we're gonna get into this look with this something blue by Yana's Eyes and this LMT Brow Soap from LMT Cosmetics. I had absolutely no idea what I was going to do. All I knew about this look was that I was going to be using rhinestones. This is like my second time using this brow stuff. I'm not sure if it's a pomade from P. Louise. I have very curly eyebrows, so this is not my first choice. And then I um, filled it in a little bit with a P. Louise pencil. The concealer I decided to use is from Makeup Revolution. Someone suggested maybe I'm not using P. Louise correctly, but I prefer Makeup Revolution um, over P. Louise. The one thing I will say is that um, the P. Louise uh, base does dry faster, and we want that. But it's as far as coverage and getting those colors to really pop, Makeup Revolution is clean. So then I take the spoolie from one of my brush sets and just try to give it that, that faded look with some of the concealer that's already there. And, you know, just preparing my eyes for this unknown look. <laughs> I decided to go with the Eye Ecstasy palette and the Nude Paper palette from Rainbow Station. So I used the Nude Paper palette for my transition colors. I went in with a very like darkish orange or it's like it's a bright orange the reason why I called it dark is because it's lighter I mean it's darker than the lighter one I'm going to use after this and that's the lighter one or the brighter one and just to create like an ombre type effect I'm putting that in my arch and blending it out to the best of my ability um, there's no such thing as too much blending just keep on working it until you can't see any harsh lines or any kind of um, differentiation between the two colors really next I'm going back in with the P. Louise because I know I'm using the Pat McGrath eye ecstasy palette I did not use any makeup remover or anything to cut my crease and I was trying to do this technique that I saw um, on Instagram. And so I started out just kind of using the concealer in the corners of my eyes to apply the first color, which is Gold Standard from the Eye Ecstasy Subversive Palette. This video was really kind of about the wig. However, I wanted to do the makeup as well. Then I decided to use the Lapis Luxury. And this is where I kind of messed up or the look kind of took a turn in a different direction than what I was trying to take it in. So in order to kind of clean it up a little bit, I decided to use the color Crimson Fire between Gold Standard and lapis luxury so that it would give it almost like an ombre type of effect i mean not really because they're all different colors but it blended into a look and then on the outside i decided to go with uh, a color called blue blood it's like a purple kind of shade and I just wanted to pack that almost all on the side of my eye. I just kind of kept going 
it didn't have shape at first because I did end up using the um, micellar water from Neutrogena and you'll see that in order to better define how that outside purple look was going to look I didn't want it to actually be a wing but I just didn't want it to be messy I wanted to give it some sort of definition so whenever you remove the makeup you twist the q-tip counterclockwise so I went back in to just blend blend the harsh lines blend the look together it ended up working out really well I have to figure out a, a different um, tripod so that I could get closer to this eye makeup this is my foundation routine just in case you're interested I start off by moisturizing my face I am using Olay moisturizer and then I'm going to take the famous plush brush from Yana's Eyes and Airspun in order to just coat my face nicely with this setting powder. It's in a honey beige. I, I keep forgetting that this brush picks up so much product, but your face doesn't have to be that white. There's my favorite LMT setting spray. Oh man, I can feel that. I really can if you haven't heard or don't have I feel like you should have it and you should go get it my famous Dollar Tree fan to make sure that everything is dried down and then I'm gonna go in with a face primer which is my favorite still today the elf illuminous matte primer and now you know that's just to keep my pores nice and filled so that the look is flawless you know whenever I edit a little bit on the pictures color correcting is about the best I want to do um, I, I hate face smoothing but when you have that solid foundation brush and you have that uh, or that smooth criminal you look smooth on out I've been using the super stay foundation by Maybelline and that right there that beauty that's massaging my face that is the Yana's Eyes solid foundation brush I had to stop doing this after a while because I, then I didn't know how I was going to use my rhinestones um, I started to get a little bit more confused I always want to concentrate and I don't think I am concentrating on being a little bit more entertaining in the video I really want to learn some new techniques and um, unfortunately I have to set my tripod at this particular time on the other side of me um, so that's too far of a distance and I want you to better see the makeup so I decided that once I blended out this purple, I'm just going to cut the voiceover and finish the look off camera. Plus, this is the longest video I have had in a while. So I hope you've made it this far and I hope you see it through to the end. All right, cuties, I'm back. I had to cut that filming of the makeup short because I really and truly needed to focus. Um, it was just like me trying to make something different happen, not knowing what colors I was going to use, not knowing um, really what, you know, technique I was going to use. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. my rhinestone look for Freestyle Friday in the cutie community on Facebook. If you, um, let me get a little closer. If you are not a part of the cutie community on Facebook, uh, you should join us. It's, it's uh, women of all different levels of makeup who just come together and compliment one each other, uh, one another, compliment each other or one another, whichever one you want to go with. And um, we have competitions, challenges, collabs. It's a lot of fun. 
Um, we also support uh, growing businesses in their grassroots stages um, as long as they support us back uh, with a product donation from for our contest which is Cutie Wars at the present time and Cutie Wars season five has just started and it is amazing the, t the uh, 10 selected are some truly talented women and I'm looking forward to a great season but this is the wig here from AC or Asai Hair not sure how you pronounce it this is a professional wig seller um, has produced hair for 10 years now I do like this short wig I will say that it's a shedder the more you finger comb it the better it looks but also the more it sheds so after finger combing this look I will have to clean off my makeup table vacuum and mop the floor as well um, but I like the length I was a little bit scared of the length at first I like the length I love the color and this is something it's tight enough that I don't even have to put the combs in it Okay, I don't have to put the combs in it. Um, I can just tighten it as best I can without giving myself a headache. As you can see, the curls are popping. The messier it is, the better it is. So like I said, as I, as I continue to finger comb through this hair, the better it looks. And I'm excited about that. Okay. And then um, I will put the description for everything at the bottom. These are Rude Gal, Rude Gal Lashes by Yana's Eyes. A little bit on the dramatic side, but um, these are paired my favorites. Like, I really like this. I don't think that they're too dramatic. I think that they're sweet and simple and a little bit of drama you know a little bit of drama so leave a comment below let me know what you think about this makeup let me know what you think about this hair and yeah just the look in general i'm digging it got bamboo earrings at least two pair but well, not me i got some diamonds in my second hole <laughs> This is your girl, Yana of Yana's Eyes, saying thank you so much for joining me. If you are not subscribed to my channel, why not, love? Go ahead, hit the like button. I've been trying to get to 300 for a minute, but it's on me. I gotta be more consistent. I need to pop up in the feed, and I know that, so I'm gonna do that. And most importantly, hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. And please don't forget to leave a comment below. So until next time, this is your girl Yana of Yana's Eyes saying, see ya when I see ya. Hey. They come for your dreams, come for your work. They make you mean, they make you work. They take your work, they take your work, your self-esteem, they make you hurt, they make you hurt, they make it seem like it ain't worth it, but it's always worth it.